She gave me neck like an ostrich in a lobster. Wait, what? That's right. She gave me neck like an ostrich in a lobster. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most monstrous show on the internet. My name is Riley, I'm also joined by my bona fide co-host, Dignan. That's right, I'm bona fide. Today we're looking at some of the most bizarre things said in songs. This is, guess, guess the rapper from, from the weird lyric. lyric. Here's how it's gonna work, we're gonna look at a weird bar and guess who said it. One point for each one we get right, me versus Dignan versus you. Adrian in San Diego, California. Today I'm your padre. That's a baseball reference. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch. Also consider joining our Patreon. It's only $5 a month. It's the best way you can support us and you get extra content. First, weird lyric. <laughs> okay. Rest in peace to all the soldiers that died in the service. I dive in her cervix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the cervix is located where? It's actually, it's right next to the scapula back here. Oh, right about here? Yeah, it's like right, oh, actually. Is that, that nice? Little... Oh, you got a tight cervix. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me work on that a little bit. Oh, shoot. Right there. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How about a little? Mm-hmm. Oh, stay away from that. That's the oh. clit. That's the clit. Stay oh, that's your clit. Yeah. Stay away from <laughs> that. <laughs> Very sensitive area. Uh, I could never find that before. <laughs> iconic line here. Absolutely. I think we all know what's going on. Finally, the troops get a little recognition for once. You know. Three, two, one. Two chains. Two chains. It is two chains. Oh yeah. I always love a classic misdirection. This is also like our comment section. Yeah. 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 It's something very serious and then all of a sudden I dive in her cervix. <laughs> <laughs> How do I pay respect to our veterans but also let people know that I'm having a lot of sex. Yeah, a ton of sex. <laughs> Rest in peace to all the soldiers that die in the service. I die in her cervix. Love the, it's like 4th of July barbecue. Too. Oh yeah. <laughs> or Memorial Day. Right. But you shouldn't have on Memorial Day. Why? It's bad. It's a bad look. Why? Optically. Optically? Well, they're dead and they can't have sex. So, you know what I mean? It's a bad uh, look. Okay, sure. <laughs> Just remember out there, if it's Memorial Day, lay off the sex heaven, okay? What the hell? <laughs> it's a pagan holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. <laughs> she give me neck like an ostrich in a lobster. Wait, what? That's right. She give me neck like an ostrich in a lobster. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna fit in there. But. She like how I stack the pancakes like Betty Crocker. Okay, second line's a little better, but what's an ostrich doing inside of a lobster? <laughs> neck like an ostrich, I get it. Right. Long neck. Long neck on an ostrich. In a lobster. Maybe they're in a red lobster and they're just shortening it. They're like, I got neck like an ostrich in a red lobster. Yeah, I love getting good neck in a red lobster. Absolutely. The butter helps. Yeah, and they got big booths. Yeah, no one can even see. You just kind of pull the table cloth over. This has got to be someone stupid. <laughs> I love shit like this though. It's just like, like who said you had to make sense? You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, just say Wh- Whoever bunch. said. Three, two, one. Put a little Uzi vert. Put smoke perp. It is Roddy Rich. Roddy, Roddy Rich said this? In what song? Body in Motion by DJ Khaled featuring Bryson Tiller, Roddy Rich, and Lil Baby. Wow. Saving the, what? Saving the nonsense lines for the Khaled beat. I can appreciate that. <laughs> is there a genius verified for this? I feel like he would argue that this is not what he said. I don't think so, no, not that I've seen. Somebody, I gotta hear yeah, it. Yeah, I gotta hear it. That's gotta crazy. hear it. Since she give me a neck like a ostrich and a lobster. She like I stack the pancakes like Betty Crocker. He said it. Yeah, bro. he I said it. it. I mean, he- in a lobster. Lobster, but he says in a lobster that makes me think more like a red lobster that makes me think more like it's a car Oh, like it's a lobster a type of like or maybe like a red something is a lobster Maybe yeah lobster slang here for something. We're not thinking about and it's also a good movie John C. Riley. Yeah, it was okay. It's okay. It was <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> it wasn't that good It was pretty confusing kind of like this bar. Wait, we're in a bar right now. Exactly. That's what's confusing <laughs> about it There's no drinks in yeah, the studio. The oh, margarita, please. <laughs> We've got she got a light skin friend look like Michael Jackson Mm -hmm. got a dark skin friend look like Michael Jackson dark I can't say I've ever met anyone that looked like Michael Jackson, especially at the end of his life. God, he looked so weird. <laughs> I've actually seen a lot of people that look like Michael Jackson. You've been hanging out in Vegas? Right. <laughs> That's where I was going with it. Yep. <laughs> a lot of Elvis guys there. Shut too. up. Santa Clauses and Napoleon Dynamites. Napoleon Dynamites? <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen those guys busking in Vegas, all dressed up like Napoleon Dynamite? <laughs> Very lucrative. We should do that. That should be our first prank video is we, like, we take like five of our friends, we all dress up like Napoleon Dynamite and go to different parts of Vegas. 
Vegas and like dance around and people are like, what's going on? <laughs> I've seen the I've seen the Elvis. Yep. Okay. I've seen Michael Jackson. Of course. I've seen Dolly Parton. Oh yeah. But Napoleon Dynamite, where's this? <laughs> this is an old movie. Where's this coming from? Such a brief niche moment in cultural history. <laughs> uh, hey, do you have any vote for Pedro shirts here? <laughs> I kind of forgot who said this one. I can hear it in my head. That's what I'm thinking. I like had the first thought and was like, oh, it's obvious, and then went past that, and now I'm like, wait a minute. Three, two, one. Kanye? Drake? It is Kanye West. Yeah, okay. Whew. <laughs> I just psyched myself out of it the whole time. I was like, am I tripping? This is a Kanye line, right? And then I couldn't get Childish Gambino out of my head. I really thought it was Drake. Got a light-skinned friend, look like Michael Jackson. Got a dark-skinned friend, look like Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Damn, I'm stupid as dirt. <laughs> I like when people say dumb as rocks, yeah. dumb as bricks, mm -hmm. stupid as dirt. Mm -hmm. How do we know that it's any more stupid than any other inanimate thing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm dumb as a table. Right. <laughs> Man, I'm about slow as a footstool. Man, I'm dull as a dustpan. <laughs> Man, I'm dumber than shuffleboard. I'm in the ocean getting shark pussy. <laughs> Shoot you in your fucking mouth and make you talk to me. Now, do sharks have... You know, these two lines next to each other is wild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you're writing this. You're like, I'm in the ocean getting shark pussy. That's pretty funny. That's okay, cool. interesting. And then uh, shoot you in your fucking mouth <laughs> and make you talk to me. Now, this is a threat. I'm going to shoot you in the mouth. Talk to me. What hurts? Oh, did I shoot you in your mouth? Oh, is that my fault? <laughs> Talk to me. Sorry, I was too busy getting shark pussy. <laughs> shark week after hours. It's like a sexy shark in lingerie. <laughs> Local great whites in your area. <laughs> Finding Nemo alternate ending. Bruce busted down sexual style. <laughs> oh yeah, we're going down under. <laughs> you think maybe he was just going down on Mark Cuban? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> That's a way better visual for whatever reason. I'm about to come, and for that reason, I'm out. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Young Thug. I put Saw Baby. This is Lil Wayne. Oh, that actually makes that, sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. What song is it in? This is the title track of I Am Not a Human Being. It's abbreviated I-N-A, or I-A-N-A-H-B. Okay. okay, got you. I thought it was early Young Thug, which makes sense because that was so influenced by Lil Wayne. Yeah. You know? I'm in the ocean getting shark pussy. Shoot you in your fucking mouth and make you talk to me. That's Yo, awesome. why is it over like somber piano too? <laughs> so it's like, like so clear. I was expecting it to be like -na 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 -na. Yeah. He's No, it's like, like a love I'm ballad. in the ocean getting shark pussy. <laughs> Girls shake that ass like a donkey with Parkinson's? Oh no. Oh jeez. She doesn't even want to shake her ass. It's a symptom. <laughs> why do donkeys make hee-haw noises? You know what I mean? Why does any animal make any noise? <laughs> I know, but think of like, when you think of a donkey, it looks just like a horse, like a little horse. Sure. You'd think it'd just go, like a horse. But instead, donkeys have a specific call, which is, that's impressive. That's a really good heel. No other hooved creature even comes close to that. I mean, a donkey is kind of like a broken creature. You know? Yeah, it seems like it's broken. The other ones are put together and they're like finished or whatever. <laughs> and this one, it just feels like it's like, oh, that's a broken horse. <laughs> It's like, it's malfunctioning. <laughs> Never got big enough. Somebody fix that horse. <laughs> Sorry, my horse is in the shop. It's making like a hee-haw sound. I don't know. If he keeps doing it, I'm going to have to send him to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like thinking about who said this. God forbid it's one of my idols. <laughs> Three, two, one. Childish Gambino. YG. This is Eminem. Oh, oh that is definitely who would say it. Of course. <laughs> what song? Won't Back Down. Oh, huh, Tom Petty. Yeah, I love that Tom Petty song. <laughs> Girl, shake that ass like a donkey with Parkinson's. Oh, yeah, that's exactly the delivery I imagined. I don't think I've listened to Recovery in like at least five years. Oh no, that album should be buried underground. <laughs> I don't smoke weed, so no need for the matches. I said fuck coke, and now I'm snorting Hitler's ashes. <laughs> We made like oh. such a big jump here. You don't smoke weed, so you don't need a lighter or matches, and you don't do coke, and so now you just snort the most evil person of all time's ashes? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good on that coke. Do you have any, I don't know, dictator's ashes lying around? <laughs> that gets me high. Does that urn have a keef catcher? <laughs> we are running low. <laughs> I mean, this can really only be one person. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Three, two, one. Tyler, the creator. That's what I put. It is Tyler, the creator. Absolutely. <laughs> of course it was. Old Tyler. <laughs> Old Tyler said a lot of things right out the pocket. What song is this on? I don't remember. Tron Cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't smoke weed, so no need for the matches. Said fuck coke, and now I'm snorting Hitler's ashes. <laughs> 
Tyler does like a Taylor Swift treatment with Goblin and revisits it and makes it all Ooh. again. <laughs> kind of makes a nice 12 minute track at the end. <laughs> that would be sweet for the younger fans that aren't in tune with this side of Tyler. Bastard Tyler's version. Yeah, that would be, be nice. so funny. So sweet. He just says all of the stuff he said before, yep. but like now yeah. people would be like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's funny how you could just reiterate what you said at an earlier point in your career and it could ruin your career now somehow. Now the creator threatens to stab Bruno Mars in the esophagus this week. <laughs> Next one. Yes, sir. Ready? <laughs> They try to bite our swag, but they bitches biting our dicks. You don't want to brag about getting your C chewed on. <laughs> it would be really funny if bite my dick replaced suck my dick. That's kind of a funnier <laughs> insult. Like if you're saying it to someone like, hey, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. Bite my dick, buddy. People would be like, yo! Wait a minute. They really put a visual. Like when somebody <laughs> says suck my dick, I don't even think about it no. as like the visual right. anymore. But bite my dick. If somebody <laughs> said that to me, I'd be like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? Picturing Bugs Bunny and his big carrot. <laughs> What's up, crack? <laughs> Hey, get out of the road! Bite my dick! <laughs> right here, pal! Bite it! <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Chief Keef. I put ASAP Rocky. It is Yeet. Oh, really? Yes. Yeet says this? Yes. On what song? Money So Big. Wow, that's crazy. How did I, I mean, I don't really understand a lot of what Yeet says. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes his verses just go by and I'm just making sounds. I'm just like... <laughs> they trying to bite their swing, but they beat you by nerding. <laughs> Nardiques. <laughs> By Nardiques. <laughs> he can say whatever he wants at this point. Yeah, it's crazy. No rules or walls for you. No, he created his own language. Yeah. Like, little schmunkum dinner or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Spunkum breakfast. I don't know. <laughs> People are like, fire. Absolutely. Like, there are 14 year olds just texting each other gibberish right now. And they think they're like the coolest people on earth. Tonka continental schmutz. All right, here we go. Remember these bitches ain't wanna fuck. Now she give me head outside the Toys R Us. Toys R Us is out of business, man. It's just an abandoned building. <laughs> You're just getting head outside of an abandoned building. That makes it better. Yeah, that does. Please. I'm glad there's no kids there. Yeah, me too. I love that this is like a signifier that they've made it somehow. Remember, no one wanted to fuck me. Now, I'm getting head outside the Toys R Us. <laughs> <laughs> Who made it now, bitch? <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Nav. I put Lil Uzi Vert. It is Nav. Yeah, oh. okay. Oh, thank God. Whew. You would've got flamed if you didn't get that one. I know, because I'm such a big Nav fan now. How many bitches ain't wanna fuck? How she gave me head outside of Toys R Us. <laughs> Toys R Us. <laughs> Auto-tune affects Nav's voice differently than everyone else's. Yeah. It like takes these like weird gurgles. It's so awesome yeah. though. Next one. They say I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in an elevator. <laughs> Never had elevator sex. It's too quick. Yeah, it's too quick. Absolutely. <laughs> it's way too quick. What do you do for the rest of the ride? <laughs> Three, two, one. Put Pierre Bourne. I put Tupac Shakur. This is Ed Sheeran. <laughs> what? Is that a joke? Ed Sheeran? Ed Sheeran said this. this Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran said this. Yes. <laughs> In a song? No way. I need to hear this. What the <laughs> hell? So what is wrong with him? Hey, Mr. Sheeran, you got two new fans. <laughs> <laughs> Up and coming? He's like the biggest artist in the world. When was this? This was off his first project, the orange cover. Oh my yeah. god. They say I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in an elevator. Cause you need me, man. Who was in the video? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> is that this wasn't Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Am I having Mandela effect? <laughs> <laughs> is this what Ed Sheeran looks like? <laughs> no, Ed Sheeran is more of a Ron from Harry Potter type character. <laughs> and I thought he said stuff like, I'm in love with the shape of your body <laughs> at the dirtiest, but this is crazy. Is this the stuff he was busking? Like, is this the stuff he was doing on the street in London? <laughs> they say I'm up and coming like I'm fucking in an elevator. Like, gas, gas. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'll give this guy 25 cents or whatever they got over there. Yeah. yeah every time I hear elevator, I think a peer born. That's <laughs> just fair. Like... <laughs> All right, next one. You look just like my rich auntie. She was the first First person wearing blondie. I used to want to fuck my auntie. Oh. Can I guess Sigmund Freud? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine hitting on someone like, damn. You look just like my aunt. Oh, God. I used to want to fuck my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is brought to you by 23andMe. <laughs> Figure it out for good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Kodak Black. Lil Yachty. This is Young Thug. Really? Yeah. Young Thug. Oh, shit. What's his aunt think when she hears li this line? I don't know. Also, by the way, I'm used to saying aunt because I'm from the Midwest yeah. instead of aunt, but because it's auntie, I never say mm -hmm. auntie. I actually did. Hmm. Annie Lynn. You had an Auntie Lynn? That's what I called her. Ugh. Annie Lynn. See, me, I'm Auntie 
incest. That's what I will say. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, good for you. I've always thought you weren't ethically sound, but morally, you're good. Thanks, man. She was the first person when blondie. I used to want her for my auntie. And then it drops in. <laughs> On a Nav song, no less. <laughs> I used to want to fuck my auntie. Everybody's delivering these lines over way too open production. Like, yeah. I did a little a bit. A little bit. Like, if Chief Keef said that and the drums were going crazy, yeah. people would be like, well, okay, whatever. Let it slide. Yeah. It's just so open. It sounds like you're confessing something. Like, <laughs> it's like coming from the heart. Yeah. You know? <laughs> All right, next one. My music sounds like the devil. Turn that shit off or get out of my temple. Turn off my music? <laughs> yeah. It's too demonic. Yeah. yeah. It's, this is like a riddle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it a towel? <laughs> my music sound like the devil. Turn that shit off or get out of my temple. Is that the right flow? I bet it is. Who's scared of themselves? Three, two, one. Meek Mill. I put Playboy Cardi. It is MGK. Machine oh. Gun Kelly said this. Of course, oh, self-proclaimed oh demon. Machine. <laughs> oh, so scary. Don't come to our church, Mr. Machine Gun. Fuck you. The only thing devilish about your music is your affinity for young women. Thank you. Let's go. Yeah, clap, Grant. Thank you. Don't be a weirdo. Yeah. Thank you for speaking up. That's yeah. super brave. Tell me how to say it, bro. They're gonna come for you. I just want you to know that. But that comes with the territory. Yeah. Of really speaking your mind. I got two guns on my hip. Smith and Wesson. Oh. Just your fists? Yeah, just You're my fists. You're not gonna be able to take down like an angry mob with just fists. Yeah, that's what they said about Shrek. Well, <laughs> Shrek had a rocket launcher, so that was a big part of <laughs> He also had a dragon at his disposal. It's true. I guess I haven't really thought this through. All right, what song is this on? This is Alpha Omega. Oh, God. This song's called Alpha Omega. I hate him so much. <laughs> it is like, I have like a lot of hatred in my soul for Machine yeah, Gun Kelly. Me too. Like, like, I started off just casually disliking him, mm -hmm. and then I saw the clip, and that made me morally object to him as a person. Mm -hmm. But now I just hate him too. Mm -hmm. Like, on top of all of that, I'm just like, ah. He is in love with an emo girl, though. So. My music sound like the death. Turn that shit off or get out of my temple. <laughs> I got the flow perfectly. <laughs> that is literally the exact flow. <laughs> How the hell? I've never heard that song in my life. Uh, I'll never listen to it again. No, me either. That's, That's the most I'll ever hear of it. Yep, one and done for me. I will be lowered into the ground having heard that much of that song <laughs> ever. Next, and we making a pizza. Go juice the tomato. I was taking the butter with a big ass potato. <laughs> Is this Jimmy Buffett? <laughs> Are you guys making bloody Caesars? Why do you have to juice the tomato? <laughs> Damn, bro, that's a big ass potato. You gotta watch your starch intake, man. It's a big ass potato. You baking that thing? That's gonna take a month. <laughs> Three, two, one. Quavo. The game. This is Saw Baby. Oh. Saw Baby said this? This isn't even weird for Saw Baby. Yeah, true. This is too normal. For the, like, like, Saw Baby has some weirder lyrics. <laughs> Fucking a squid, making a snake. <laughs> Sounds so smooth. I do not want a pizza with tomato juice on it. That's awful. That's, <laughs> instead of sauce, they're like, just use juice. We're out of sauce. Gosh, this pizza's soggy as hell. <laughs> Next one we've got. <laughs> Never shave my pubes, bitch. My nuts stay hairy. All up in your teeth, you gotta pick it out? Oh my god. <laughs> nah, shoot. This video is not brought to you by Manscaped, but it should be. <laughs> All up in your teeth, you gotta pick it out? Come on. This feels like antiquated masculinity. Oh no, not me. Never shave my pubes. Mm-mm. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. That's for ladies. <laughs> Three, two, one. Smoke perp. I put Mac Miller. This is Danny Brown. Danny Ooh. Brown said this? Okay. Oh my gosh. That's kind of believable. He seems like the type of guy to have a huge bush. <laughs> Harry never shave my pills, bitch, my nuts stay hairy. Stop. All up in your teeth, you gotta pick it out. <laughs> you gotta pick it out. <laughs> These lines don't even rhyme. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why does he gotta say it like this? <laughs> Hose watching, fucker on the balcony where MLK died. My wrist tied up, watch worth a life. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Who in their right mind? Absolutely out of pocket. Dude, isn't it so weird that they're called skyscrapers? Not like, like I understand. It just feels like a very poetic way to talk about a tall building that stuck as everyone says it. Yeah. Like imagine that that had never existed and they're talking about tall buildings and they're like, buildings so tall they scraped the sky. Like it's like, so, it sounds so poetic, but everybody just says it all the time. Like skyscrapers, imagine scraping the sky. I think what you're forgetting in is that people used to kind of talk in poems. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Back in the day, like <laughs> when those buildings first came up, everyone was like, oh, mercy me, 
me. A oh, building so tall made by man it could scrape the sky. Yes. And that was like the average guy on the street. Like, <laughs> imagine if it had never stuck. You have a meeting on like the 65th floor of a building mm-hmm. and the executive guy comes down, lets you in the front door, says, hey, shakes your hand and goes, and they're like, man, this is a tall building. And he's like, yeah, she's a real skyscraper, ain't she? Yeah. <laughs> like that would be clever, yeah. but it's not because no. everybody calls them skyscrapers. That is weird. Three, two, one. Lil Yachty. Lil Baby? It is Lil Yachty. Yeah, on Gay Energy. Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah. <laughs> this line made a, a bit of a hubbub on Twitter. You yeah, know. I would believe so. <laughs> Who is watching fuck on a balcony where MLK died? My wrist tied up. Watch worth a life. Wow, dude. <laughs> Can you believe he says that? It's almost hard when he says it. But it's like, man, why? He's just so likable yeah. that he could get away with doing something like that. Yeah. You know? Well, that's our first game of Guess the Rapper from the Weird Lyric. We're definitely going to play this one again. So send your weird lyrics over to DJ Grant. His stuff is linked in the description along with our Patreon. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And Diggy, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? A man is made by his patience and the odds stacked against him. All right, this has been High My TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Twizzy. Coming soon to a McDonald's near you, it's the Yeet Meal, Schmunk a McMuffin, <laughs> Tonk a McFlurry, <laughs> and the all new La Cranky Burger. <laughs> don't forget the Twizkin McNuggets. <laughs> I don't know about that one. You're gonna McLa it. <laughs> it comes with a Tonka toy? Yeah. Oh, that would toy. actually be great. The fries are in the back of it. <laughs>